Good day, students. My name is Ian Achojo Echibizi. You're welcome to our online chemistry class for SS1. Now, our topic for today will be valency and radical. Now, in this class, we'll be talking about the valency of elements and also radical. Now, what our objective? Now, I'll be trying to make you understand the definition of valency and radical and also teach you some examples of valency and radicals. Now, why, uh, why is valency important in, a, in chemistry and in a compound? Now, when elements combine, they combine to form compounds. Now, there must be at least two atoms which are chemically combined. So that means valency is important in the formation of a compound. So when writing the formula of a compound, you need the valency of the individual element that makes up the compound. So when atoms combine, they make use of what is called valency. Now, what is valency? This is defined as the combining power of any element. So the combining power of an element is what we call valency. Or you can say valency is defined as the combining power of an element. Now, valency is also regarded as the oxidation number of an element. Now, how do you now know the valency of all elements in the periodic table? Now, instead of memorizing, there is a short form you can actually use to understand the valency of the various elements via the periodic table. Now, if you look here in, on the board, you have the periodic table from group 1 down to group 8. So, each group number is represented by the valency. Like, for example, elements in group 1 have a valency of 1 or an oxidation number of plus 1. Elements in group 2 have a valency of 2. Group 3 have a valency of 3. If you come down to group 4, you have a valency of plus 3, plus 4 rather, or minus 4. Now, if you now go to the non-metals, which are group 5 to group 7, you will see that the valency will change to negative. So group 5 is minus 3, group 6 is minus 2, group 7 is minus 1. Now, why from the group 8, they are known as the inert gas. That means they are all reactive non-metals. They are stable and they have an octet or duplex structure. So, with that, their valency is usually zero. So, in case I ask you, what is the valency of sodium? Since sodium belongs to group 1, it is plus 1 or 1. Why that of aluminium? Since it belongs to group 3, it is plus 3. Now, likewise... For the rest. So that is a better way to understand. Now, on the board here, you have some elements, their symbols, and their valency. So you can see these are metals, and these are their valency. These are some non-metals, and these are their valency. And you should also understand that some elements have more than one valency. Like say, for instance, sulfur on the board have a valency of two. 4 and 6. So elements can have more than one valency. Now let's go to radicals. Now, what are radicals? Now, radicals, these are a group of atoms with charges. Group of atoms with charges. That means you have more than one atom combining to form charges. Now, when you have a single atom with charge, we call it an ion. We call it an ion. So we have ions, we have radicals. Like for example, if you have Na+, plus, this is sodium ion, because you have a single atom, we call it ion. If you have Cl-, minus, this is also an ion. This is a negative ion, this is a positive ion. But radicals are a group of atoms with charges, that means you have more than one atom. There are two types of radicals. We have cation, these are positively charged radicals. And the second is anion, these are negatively charged radicals. Now on the board here, you would see examples of radicals, their names, oxidation states, and their valency. Like I said, when I was talking about valency, some re refer valency as oxidation states, oxidation number. So we have ammonium, this is ammonium, this is the symbol NH4+. Now the oxidation state is the charge you're seeing here plus one. Might be asked why did you write one? Most of the time, we omit one in chemistry. So the relation state is one, the valency is one. Now, likewise, other. So you can see other radicals, and these are named. 
and these are the oxidation states, and these are their valencies. So you have to understand the valency and the radicals of atom. Because why? If you don't have an understanding of this, it will be difficult for you to understand how to write the formula of compound. So when you have the knowledge of this, the formula of compound becomes very easy. All right, thank you very much for participating in the class. Please have a nice day.